Good morning, everybody. Sorry, day four. It was a sad morning for sure. We are another man down on our crew. Jared from Washington, D.C. He made a safe and smart decision to turn back around this morning. He said he had a headache from the first day. And then as we just kept climbing higher and higher, just kept getting worse. And the ibuprofen wasn't helping him. So we're now down to the final three. Yesterday, we did that acclimation hike after lunch. It was super pretty. Got up to 14,100 feet. And Sasha in the back there got a new personal record on elevation. So congratulations to her. Keith behind me has actually hit his personal record since like the first day. He's from Atlanta or uh, Augusta. Augusta, sorry. So very proud of him for pushing through all this and making it. And then today I should be hitting my own personal record at the Lava Tower, which is at 15,100 feet. So highest I've ever been so far before this was Mount Elbert in Colorado at 14,400-ish feet, I believe. And I was last we just gonna stick together and make sure we all get to the summit safely. I think that's it. Catch you in with y'all later. Ah, wrong side. <laughs> that makes more, so much more sense now. What's up guys? Finally made it to Lava Tower. I think we said it was 15,221 feet. Luckily I'm not feeling too much of the altitude. So going pole pole is really helping for sure. Plus I'm on the down walk, so great help. You should be able to see Lava Tower in the back, but all these clouds and rains kind of blocking the view. We're about to start heading back down to 13,000 feet for the camp tonight. Anything you want to add? It's cold. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> a little cold. Uh, sitting still definitely isn't helping. And the rain's coming, so also not helping. So let's want to start moving and hopefully warm up. Later. All right guys, day four is officially done. Pulling up to camp right now. It was uh, been raining gloomy all day. It wasn't too bad of a hike coming back from Lava Tower. Pretty much all downhill. Not much to add other than that. Camp here, have some nice dinner, and then we'll continue the journey tomorrow. Good morning everybody. Start of day five. We're gonna be climbing the, called the Baraka Wall. We'll be hiking up that big cliff, zigzagging up, scrambling to the top. So it should be a nice, fun day. We're going, what, a thousand feet up, something like that? And then we'll go back down to 13,100 feet. Getting closer and closer to reaching the roof of Africa. You guys want to add anything? Nope. All right, so let's go get this scramble on.
What's up everybody? Day five is officially over. Pulling to camp right now. Today's uh, one of my favorite days so far. Really fun doing the scramble up Bronco wall. And after that, it's like a rolly up and down to get to camp. Elevation of camp is 13,100 feet. So we're camping 100 feet higher than last night. One of the good things about today is we didn't have to bring out any rain gear. So huge plus there. Got to stay dry for once. Mr. Sun still doesn't want to come out and play, but that's all right. He's keeping the temperatures down, so can't really complain there. Only about 1 p.m. right now, so pointing to camp pretty early with no other acclimatization hikes planned. So it's going to be a nice just chill day at camp, eat some good lunch and dinner, just hang out, relax, before heading to base camp tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Catch y'all later. Good morning everybody, start of day six. We're officially heading to base camp. Uh, starting at 13,100 feet. We're gonna finish the day at 15,600 feet. Today is gonna be like a four hour hike, 2.7 miles. But it's gonna be steep the whole way. So I just pull it, pull it the whole way. But we did lose another fellow hiker this morning. Not part of our group, she was with a different company. But we've been like hiking along with her this whole trip. I actually met her at the airport the first day when I landed. But again, the altitude just got to her. And from what I'm noticing, everybody that's going down wasn't taking Diamox. So I highly suggest anybody that wants to take a hike, Kilimanjaro, to take Diamox. Obviously consult your doctor first, cause I'm not a doctor, but it's definitely helping everybody to acclimate these high altitudes. Team, y'all wanna add anything? On we'll be at some soon, yep. Alright, catch y'all later. You're in my shot. You were in my last four shot. What's up everybody? Day six is, I guess, officially over. I want to base camp right now, finally. Pretty much all just wet and cold. It's been raining all day. Temperatures are low, but we've made it. For base camp today, it's more of like just a little nap spot. We want to get to camp, go to our tents, change into some dry, warm clothes, eat some lunch and dinner, take a quick little nap. Then we're gonna wake back up like at around 11, PM, 12 a.m. time frame and then the final push to the summit begins we should uh, be on summit for sunrise tomorrow October 31st 2020 on Halloween so probably cut this update here so I can go change and warm up then I'll see y'all in the morning later can you see my face in the screen yes does that help yeah Good morning, everybody, or good night. Uh, I know what to call this. It's 11.30ish p.m. on the 30th of October, 2020. Uh, having breakfast at this time, it's really weird. It's uh, pretty cold outside, snowed a lot, windy, but all bundled up in all my layers, so it's helping for sure. Right now, just having breakfast, porridge, uh, toast, some sugar cookies, and some a lot of hot drink choices. But yeah. We're almost there. It's the day we've been all been working for for the past six days. Every step got us closer to this point. We're all just going to push through the cold, make it to the summit, work together as a team, pole pole the whole way up, and uh, yeah, just reach the roof of Africa. That's the goal. Get there in one piece, enjoy the views, and then come back down where it's warmer. Keith, you want anything? Final push. Exactly. Bear through. You got this. It's all a mental game from here. It's obviously night and dark time, so it won't do much or any filming on the way up until the sun rises so see y'all then later what's up everybody finally got some daylight so we're gonna have the gopro to put another entry in we just left stella point 
Kili, which is peak on Kili, about an hour or so from Aruhu Peak. So we still got about 500 feet to go. Our hike to get to the fruit top of Africa. Uh, it is cold, not going by, but by the later layers, it's not too terrible. It's been poly poly the whole way. Unfortunately, Keith uh, decided to turn around at Silla Point and is not going to join us to Aruhu Peak Point. So it's just down to the final two, me and Sasha and our amazing guides. So we're going to push through, reach the summit, and then start heading back down. But as for Keith, super proud of that man. He's never really been above 2,000 feet of elevation and he decides to jump into this adventure and he made it all the way to 18,800 feet. So hats off to him for making this far. Great job, Keith. I'll see y'all at the summit. It's right there. You can see it. Final stretch. Later. Hello, hello, John Bobo, everybody. Happy Halloween from the group of Africa. We finally made it to the top of ten, uh, Kilimanjaro. Elevation of 19,341 feet. Everybody up to this one. It's been a surreal experience. Just being able to look around and just seeing all of everywhere. Being above the clouds, the glacier, looking into the crater. It's just really awesome to be up here. Yeah, the trip's not over yet. The journey's only halfway done. We still gotta walk all the way back down the mountain, so that's still the part to come. But it should be a lot faster. We should be walking down to 10,000 feet tonight. Uh, get some good warm rest and some food, and then we'll be off the mountain by tomorrow morning. But yeah, the Majora. First of the seven high summits. Happy Halloween. Catch y'all later. What's up, everybody? Day seven is officially over, I guess. Uh, went to camp now. Super long day. Probably hike for until like 15 hours today. So tiring, but making the summit and satis satisfaction from that made everything worth it. I will say, coming down from the summit, I lost a lot of energy and a slight headache started coming on. I think that mo was mostly just due to the fact of. Uh, lack of sleep, uh, food and water on the way up to the summit. And then probably my Diamox was probably wearing off by the time we were coming down. So probably all that was a huge factor. But once we made it back to the base camp, we had a big lunch and then it was like a quick nap. I woke up feeling a lot more energized. So that was good. Since it was such a long day, the original camp we were supposed to go to was like four hours from base camp. And they decided to change it up and go to this camp that was only two hours away. Since as you can see, it's already getting dark. And then tomorrow we'll have a a little bit longer day for the final push off the mountain. Day seven, summer day, officially over. Team, want to add anything? Hey, great job, great job. There we go. All right, see you in the morning. What's up everybody? Decided to do a campsite tour since I haven't done one yet. We got our, our personal tent set up right here. So I think this was Sasha's last night. Mine was in the middle and then Keith was on the far right. Uh, originally, Jerry was my tent mate, but since he went down, I got the tent to myself. Terrible way to get a tent to yourself, but can't really complain. Over there, you got the porter's tent. Uh, they do bring up a toilet for us, so that's right there. So, very luxurious. Gotta have the marketing with the Ultimate Cool Majaro sign in the background. I'm not sure if you can see because of the sun, but in that direction is the kitchen where they make all the delicious meals, three hot meals a day. It makes this trip so delicious and amazing. Right there is the guy's tent. And then over here is the mess hall. Oh yeah, they put our little bags in the morning for the porters. And then over here, 
on the way into the mess hall, they have hot water for us with soap. Super nice, we'll wash up with that. And then we got the mess hall. So, all the food comes out over here. Three chairs for all of us to sit on. Uh, and that's where we eat all the delicious food. So yeah, quick little tour. That's camp. Good morning, everybody. It's day eight, the final day on this beautiful mountain. Like I said yesterday, we have about a six hour trek downhill to get back to the gate. And then probably another hour long bus ride from there back to the hotel. So nothing too crazy today. Uh, woke up early, so we had an earlier start. Yeah, the time on Kilimanjaro is almost over. Team, what do y'all want to add? We did it. We did it. Keith. Had a great time. Do it again. Great time, great memories. I will last a lifetime. Met a lot of cool people along the way. And yeah, really enjoyed this trip. See y'all at the bottom. <laughs> it's okay. It records. How's it start? What's up, everybody? It does. What's up, everybody? We're back at the hotel uh, after finally conquering Kilimanjaro the. 40 hours ago. Oh, yeah. There you go. Motherfucker. We're along with our uh, friends that we met that also conquered from a different tour group. We got Rigo and yeah. Sheila. Rachel. Both from, from Cali. And then obviously Sasha from our group. We all celebratory. <laughs> Have a great time. Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro 2020. Definitely recommend. Yeah, that's about it. Cheers to that. And as we sat there celebrating our accomplishment, we asked ourselves, why is it that we as humans have an urge to climb a rock we were not designed to climb? Is it for all the gorgeous views? Or for the amazing friends we made along the way? How about just a sense of accomplishment of doing something extraordinary? Or maybe it is our unique way of exploring this beautiful rock we call Earth and experiencing all the amazing different cultures it has to offer. And with that, I leave you to go conquer any dreams that you may have.